Hello everyone! Today we will have a wonderful journey in the solar system. So sit back, relax, and ready for the journey. In the solar system, there are eight planets orbiting around the sun. Our first destination is the planet closest to the sun, which is the Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. It is even smaller than Jupiter's moon. Now, we land on the surface of Mercury. It looks like the surface of moon. When we take a walk on the surface of Mercury, we found that there are many asteroid craters on the surface. Asteroid crater looks like small holes that may be formed by the meteorites hitting the surface. There are also cliffs which are 10 kilometers high in Mercury. However, because the absence of atmosphere in Mercury, so light cannot be scattered. As a result, the sky in the Mercury looks dark in space. Now, let's go to the second closest planet to the Sun, the Venus. Venus is a special planet. It rotates from east to west. This is very different from Earth and other planets which rotate from west to east. This means the sun rises from west in the Venus. Venus is known as the greenhouse planet because it has high content of carbon dioxide in its atmosphere. The size and age of Venus is the same as the Earth, but its climate is far more challenging. It has a temperature of about 460 degrees Celsius. We have learned enough about Venus. Then we will go to the third planet from Sun, the Earth. Earth has a layer of air known as atmosphere. The atmosphere helps to protect Earth from solar wind or ultraviolet rays in space. Earth is the only planet in the universe that is inhabited by living things. More than 71% of the Earth is covered in water, while the other 29% is land. Then we will proceed to the fourth planet from the Sun, which is the Mars. Mars is also known as the Red Planet. It has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. If we see from Earth, the atmosphere of Mars can be divided into two different areas, the brighter area and the poles. The brighter area is covered in dust and reddish sand. The poles contain frozen water and carbon dioxide. Our next destination 
is the fifth planet from the Sun, the Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter is almost 320 times that of the Earth and is twice the amount of all the planets in the solar system. Jupiter is said to be the protector of the Earth as it is able to deflect huge objects such as asteroids from hitting Earth with a strong gravity. Then we will travel to the sixth planet from the Sun, the Saturn. Saturn is classified as a giant gas planet. It has a ring system which contains mostly of ice and with a small amount of rocky material and dust. Until now, we found that the Saturn has 62 moons. It's time to go to the seven planets from the Sun. The Uranus. The elements in the interior of Uranus are ice and rock. Uranus is a special planet because its axis of rotation is tilted. Let's compare with the Earth. Axis of rotation of Earth is 23.5 degree, while the axis of rotation of Uranus is 98 degree. So the axis of rotation of Uranus is much more tilted. Axis of rotation of Uranus is almost parallel to its orbit around the Sun. It takes 84 years for Uranus to orbit the Sun. Uranus has a ring system similar to Saturn, but the ring system is thinner and darker. Finally, we reach our last destination, the eighth planet from the Sun, Neptune. Neptune is also classified as a giant gas planet. It takes almost 165 years to orbit the Sun. We have finished our journey in the solar system. Hope you enjoy the journey and have a good day. Bye-bye!